Well, hi and welcome to my channel at Oso Victoria where I am a part-time reseller on Etsy, Poshmark and eBay and I'm gonna show you some of the things I picked up this last week so this is like a haul video and some of these things I picked up at an artisan emporium which is like um you know a collective shop where people have their individual booths and the other place was at the Goodwill I picked up today and so I just want to show you what I got but first of all before I do I want to show you my granddaughter's wedding bouquet my daughter made it for her so she took all of my not all of mine she had some of her own vintage brooches and a few necklaces or a few earring pieces and she made this wedding bouquet and I think I actually have some of these brooches listed in my Etsy shop so anyway so I'm gonna take take this apart unfortunately and uh, list some of the ones that haven't been listed yet but this was her wedding bouquet and she got married on the 16th on October 16th and wanted to show that off okay so let me start with the artist emporium shop I went into which is in the town I live in and I got these blazers for two dollars a piece this is just a Levi Strauss and company uh, blue blazer well, I don't know what size it is there's no size oh there we go uh, nope still no size size 16 okay and what it, it reminds me of a uh, real estate <laughs> so it's two button blazer I'm gonna push this down a little so you could see down below so it's a two button blazer it's uh, like a polyester kind of like a double polyester uh, blazer. and then I got so I don't know how old that one is and then I got this uh, so this is a size lot 11 so this is maybe 70s uh, brown corduroy I'm pretty sure this won't fit me no nope, much too small for 11 11 is is either would be a petite or a teen size but anyway it is let's see also two button uh, brown corduroy two dollars and this is a gap this is newer and so when I tried this on this is a wool blend blazer I really liked it so I'm gonna keep this <laughs> I'm gonna keep it till I get tired of it and then I'll sell it I like the color I like the fit I like the fabric and style so I'm gonna keep this one and then I got, uh, let's see, talk about it at the Aquarium, this 1920s sheer silk dress. She called it a flapper dress. So it has all these layers of ribbon. The only thing is that the beige ribbon is worn along the edge anyway it's the 1920s and it has all these little ribbons in front there and I picked up there for a dollar 25 right for a dollar 50 this little spin top so I got me some nostalgia things on let me fix that back up this little bunny wooden spin top I thought that was cute it says Johnson Associates made in Taiwan uh, but I really can't get it to spin really good I'm not a good uh, top spinner and then I bought these little I think these were $1.50 uh, let's see what did I spend I spent $13 at the Aporium for the jacket the dress the diaper pins were $1.25 
and I have a pink, uh, yellow set, so I might lot them up. The yellow set and this 1960s acrylic beaded necklace. So black and white was a real popular color, mod color in the 60s. So just this little, that's the clasp there, beaded necklace. And so that's what I got there. And then I had gone over to the hospice unique boutique so it's the you know a hospice shop and their prices are kind of high but they have really good quality and i saw this dress this 1940s rayon dress on the dress form so i pulled it off it's kind of hard to see with the black it has the belt has this little part of a peplum to it i don't see it any better back here uh, folded cuff sleeves. Anyway, um, it's just a really stylish. There's no label and no size. It's about a medium. With, there might have been a size, a lot number in here too for the size. I don't remember. Shoulder pads. And when I, I asked her, there was no price on it. And the dresses sell for $11. I thought, oh good, $11 for this vintage, this cool vintage dress. And so she asked the lady, what was this vintage dress? It was $20. And I'm like, eh, okay, I'll take it. I'll take it anyway, so I could get 85 for it. So if not more, 125 There was just one little tiny pinhole, I think, in the shoulder. Other than that, it's in mint condition. I don't know where the pinhole is. So it's a rayon semi-sheer with this peplin uh, skirt. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> uh, drape. So I got it. And also that. So then from there, let's see, then I went to Goodwill today. I spent $60 at the Goodwill, but I did find me three tops that for me to try on. I haven't tried them on yet. But, uh, returns are good for a week. So I just needed some more wintery looking tops. So I got this one for me. But uh and then I got this buttery mustard colored one for me. I don't know what the labels this is a Lauren Laura Conrad, I don't know. Um, this one is a Coco Maine, whatever that is. And then this one is Eloges. This gray top for whatever. So just kind of these tunic tops. So I'll try them on, see if I like them. If not, I'll return them. So like these are $7.99. $8.99, $7.99. That's how much the tops are at our Goodwill. Not cheap. So I did get this. This was 50% off. So the blue tag was 50% off. So it's $7.99. So half of eight. So this is $4. This is a vintage dress. It's blue. It's a, I don't know what a rabbit, rabbit, rabbit design is. Size six. I don't know what that is. Um, it's an 80s, 90s style. It doesn't have the belt, unfortunately, but it's just basically blue with the button back. Um, pleated, sewn down pleat, pleated skirt, midi. Whoa, that's almost ankle length. Very super long. A tall girl, maybe. Um, so it is your modest, modest career girl look nice with a necklace so anyway i got that for four dollars and that was vintage uh what is this one this was three dollars i just liked the pattern on this it's just an apron let me see if i get it on and unless somebody has a serger 
don't see a label. Maybe, maybe there is one. So it could be homemade. It could be homemade with the, on a serger, but it's a wintry style apron uh, with the horses. Horses in the snow with the town with a little ruffle on the bottom. Yeah, I'm pretty sure somebody made this on their serger. But it's hard to tell anymore. Um, anyway, what did I say that was? $2.99? But I thought it was really cute. And then I got these Christmas. These are napkins. These were $2.99. I believe there's a set of six here with the holly the napkins they didn't have a, they did have a green tablecloth but i didn't pick up the tablecloth so these were 2.99 so these are seasonal so i think the seasonals are non-returnable and of course the blue tags are non-returnable um and then these are tablecloths and these also were 2.99 so i will sell the tablecloths with the napkins I don't know if there's vintage. They're vintage. There's no. There's no tags or labels. So it's hard to say. So I probably won't sell them as vintage because I have not a clue. But six of each. So for the set, that would be six dollars. And then I don't know what I'm going to sell them for. I don't know. More than six dollars, obviously. And then I picked up this. I know this is Avon. But I've sold these before. Uh, these are the little powder cotillion beauty dust. You know, the little plastic powder puff. It smells. Um, this was $1.99, so that was $2. So it won't sell for much. I don't know, maybe $15, but I like these little bedroom sets boudoir sets bathroom sets so they, they, they come in really handy and then for 79 cents i got this glass uh ashtray <laughs> it's probably been out for a while uh anyway it's a horseshoe it's a horseshoe shaped ashtray and there are ashtray collectors and then I got these for me for the home. These were $3.99. These are two bottles of Blitz Gym and Jewelry Cleaner Concentrate. So I will probably just keep these to clean my jewelry. See how they work. And I also bought this for me. This is a foam. It's a lighter foam than what I have. This is $3 for this little foam. So I picked that up. And for 99 cents, it's a planter, but I put a bird on it. What is that? An owl? I just thought that was the cutest thing. I don't know what kind of plant you would put in this kind of planter. I'll find something. Stoneware. Really, really super cute. And then I, these are $1.99 a piece. These are le Lefton ceramics from japan very delicate little porcelain mini mini oh sugar and creamer okay you can't see that i'm glad they use this blue tape it doesn't make marks on the stuff so little bone china porcelain 3d relief and the, so the, wasn't a dollar ninety nine together? No, it's a dollar ninety nine each. Whatever. Uh, okay, this doesn't. This one uh, has the the number on the back, and this has the tag on it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have got them. And I'm glad they didn't stick that on the tag. Pull the tag off. It's the red tag. Oh, whatever that means. 
but just a cute little set. And I got these are they are called E.T. Bailey sculptures. They're Burley ironstones of the whatever kind of guy they call these guy mugs. <laughs> um, Scrooge. So these are Ironstone, Sheffordshire, England. So there's this one. I did see, I can't remember, I did price them, not solds, but what I did have. And they do have sets, so you could collect the whole set of these. And the other the other guys are colored differently and these are blue and whatnot bunch of old old guys pictures and then i got this i had to google this and to see what it's worth this was 2.99 and I wouldn't have even bothered looking at this. It's not, it's just so plain looking to me. But it is a Francoma pottery, uh, which is redware. I'm not sure. Something like that. So, anyway, this was $2.99. It does have a slight on the inside. Oh, and kind of on the outside. So, there is a crack. So. Unfortunately, there is a crack in it, and it probably got a crack when people donate items to the Goodwill and how they throw their stuff around and throw it this way and throw it that way. Something could have just dinged it right there and cracked it. Unfortunately, base. And so basically, I went, I went to the store to get light bulbs because all my light bulbs downstairs are 40 watts and it gets very dark. And so I went to the store and bought a bunch of light bulbs. Since the Goodwill's right around the corner, walking distance around the corner from where I got the light bulbs, where the grocery store is and everything, I went in there and that's, take a peek around and that's just all the stuff I found. And I did find, while I was there, light bulbs. These light bulbs were $3.99. The ones I bought at the store they're regularly $12.99, but they were on sale for $9.99 for four light bulbs. Basically the same thing. So I thought, oh, what the heck? Save a little money. Buy some more light bulbs. So I think that's everything of what I got this past week. Okay, if you enjoy hauls, uh, hit the like. Subscribe, because I do what sold. So we'll see if any of this stuff sells within the next month or two, or whenever I get it listed and see what else I find and record. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. Bye.